From the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. A lot of cleaning up to do after the biggest snowfall of the season for Hampton Roads. A big snow means a big dig for everyone across the area tonight. And if you haven't started shoveling yet, be careful. This is heavy, wet snow that could be a backbreaker if you don't take it easy. The snow hanging on everything also makes a pretty scene. This is how it looked this afternoon when we put Chopper 10 in the air, but the snowfall made it difficult to get around. That was the case in Suffolk this morning. One of our three overnight crews showed the commute there. Few cars on the road, and the ones who were out were taking it slow. But we found some motorists who had serious problems. Look at this. Town of your side's Chris Reckling shot this video of a vehicle on the edge on Interstate 264 near Harbor Park. Fortunately, no major injuries there. And this is the crew of reporters and meteorologists that started early this morning and will take you through the night with live team coverage of this major winter storm. We're going to start things off at 6 with our chief meteorologist, Don Slater. And Don, for the most part, your team was pretty spot on with those snow totals. Yeah, we, we were. There were a few, uh, a few things here and there, but we got it in terms of especially around five inches to about nine inches into the area. There were the other forecasting entities that got, uh, that really kind of overdid it uh, in terms of predicting of 11, 12 inches, but we just didn't see that into the area and didn't expect it. I really didn't expect it. But a broad area, uh, we did get to, again, those heavy snowfall amounts. And it was enough to shut us down, regardless of, in terms of what we ended up with. This is nothing to get too terribly excited about. We've seen a few flurries during the afternoon hours. And really, on up into uh, the Williamsburg area, into Gloucester Co County, uh, we could have seen just a very, very light dusting. But it's gone. It's moving on off, falling apart. We could still see a few flurries overnight or during the day tomorrow. But I'm not terribly excited about it. This is the thing that's going on. Temperatures right now, right around the freezing mark. And with the... Uh, temperatures expected to drop into the low 20s. We can see a little bit of black ice, but I think mostly, <clears throat> pardon me, we'll see this slush and snow refreeze and turn into this white ice, this crunchy stuff into a lot of no neighborhoods. Could see a little bit of black ice. Temperatures stay below freezing for Friday and Saturday for the most part, but we are going to warm up. We've got a great seven day forecast to show you. That'll be coming up in just a few minutes. All right, let's get a check on the roads throughout the region tonight. We have a number of reporters ready to give you the conditions from where they have been all day. They are stationed from Williamsburg to Virginia Beach, which is where we're going to get things started with 10 of your size, Jason Marks. Jason. Uh, Tom, I can tell you that it feels a lot cooler than it did just about an hour ago. The temperature is starting to drop. Now, we wanted to give you an example of a primary road versus a neighborhood road. This is Lynn Haven Parkway, and take a look at it. It is clear. Looks great right now, but you have some of that puddling areas. That's what Public Works is worried about tonight. That area right there freezing. Now, let's show you uh, what a neighborhood road looks like. This is what the decision that's going to be so hard for Virginia Beach Public Schools. They have not canceled school yet for Friday, but this is what's going to be so hard for them. Right now, this looks great. I mean, take a look. It's just, this is just slush, and then underneath the slush is concrete. No ice at all. The problem, though, is that as these temperatures go down, this is all going to freeze. And if this freezes in the neighborhoods, those buses can't get back to pick up the kids. So that's the issue that school officials are going to have. Now, we're going to continue riding around in Virginia Beach throughout the uh, evening hours. We will have an update for you coming up on Wavy News 10 at 11. But for now, that's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. I'm Liz Palka, live in Norfolk along Military Highway. Take a look at it. Like a more than 60% of the primary routes here in Norfolk, it looks pretty clear. Uh, that, those numbers coming from uh, the Director of Emergency Operations, Jim Reddick. Uh, he said that most of these routes are clear in the city. However, they are still worried about uh, refreeze overnight. And he says they still have a lot more work to do. Here is more from Reddick. Take a listen. We make the most efficient use of the equipment that we have, uh, really just digging out. Um, hopefully the sun will help uh, break the snow down a little bit, snow's turned to slush a little bit, but we also expect uh, freezing temperatures overnight. So um, the roads are still going to be a little while before they're cleared, but we just ask folks to be patient. And Reddick says emergency operations crews are also keeping in touch with hospitals, universities, and the military to make sure all those roads leading to them are clear and making sure there are no problems right around those areas. Live in Norfolk, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. 
I'm Janine Reyes live in Portsmouth where we're once again seeing a few flurries here as we stand outside this evening. We did a lot of driving around here in Portsmouth and in Chesapeake this morning and I got to tell you a lot of those main roads were clear and fairly easy to pass even earlier this morning. Churchland Bridge was passable as well. Now along Victory Boulevard, we saw some snow plows clearing the way and dumping that salt sand mix for you. They have 13 trucks working to do that even right now here in Portsmouth. They also reported very few emergency calls here. It's the same drill in Chesapeake. Public Works there says many people stayed off the streets, helping their crews quickly clear those primaries. They're even done with the secondary roads there now. We saw a lot of slush, though, in those neighborhoods. Accidents and disabled car calls are shooting up. They've gone up since Wednesday night in Chesapeake. That's just one reason you are urged to stay off the streets if you can. Public Works crews needs all the space they can to clear your roads. And in both Portsmouth and Chesapeake, a big concern, of course, tonight is that refreezing or that slush that's easy to drive in right now could turn to ice and make for very dangerous drives across Hampton Roads tomorrow. I'm Lex Gray in Newport News. I'm standing right in front of an on-ramp to 664, and so this should be busy right now. It should be rush hour, but it's been very quiet here today and really quiet all around the peninsula in Hampton as well. Right now in Newport News, there are 29 crews out right now. They're about to switch over those salting, sanding, and plowing crews. They'll switch over at 7 o'clock for another 7 hour, or rather 12-hour shift. Now, we want to talk about trash collection because there's something a little unusual going on in Hampton. We've got some photos of this. Now what they're doing, they're about a week behind on their pickup, as are many of Hampton Road cities because of all the snow here. Uh, so what they're doing is dumping that trash out into the street and then sending out their bigger bulk collector trucks, scooping that up with the claw and then sending people behind to pick up any little pieces that might be there. They say this is really just the best option since they're overflowing. Live in Newport News, Lex Gray, 10 on your side. And I'm Erin Kelly in Williamsburg. Behind me, a plow just coming through the intersection here, Merrimack Trail. We've been seeing this all day. There's also a bit of water at that intersection there, so use caution if you're coming in this direction. We have seen plows out here all day, six of them working in the city of Williamsburg. We know that they did a lot of pre-treating overnight, so the main roads are looking pretty good right now, according to the Public Works Department. As far as the residential roads are concerned, 50% of them are done as of this evening, but they expected that it would take at least another 24 hours to tackle the rest of them. So keep that in mind um, if, if you are you know, trying to travel or go anywhere. But of course, as we've been hearing throughout the evening, that concern about refreezing. Uh, VDOT has put extra crews on the peninsula. Um, that was something that they were also going to be looking at, that possibility of refreezing here. School is closed for Williamsburg students and JCC students tomorrow. That's the latest here in Williamsburg. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. All right, there you go. We've had some all over the area showing you the snow. That's Beautiful right. scenes and there. A lot of the same concerns, too, mm -hmm. across Hampton Roads. Folks have to stay safe. Well, some pictures into the newsroom of a bad crash in Isle of Wight County. State police say a tractor trailer lost control, ran off the road, and hit a tree, just missing a house. This happened around 9 this morning on Windsor Boulevard in Zunai. No injuries, but police charged the driver of the Big Red with driving too fast for conditions. And now to North Carolina, where a lot of work has to be done, as well as cleanup. After the overnight snow, the first flakes in our area began falling in Elizabeth City during Wavy News 10 and 11. Some four to six inches of snow fell across the area that we do cover. NCDOT crews continue to clear the roads, and Governor Pat McCrory also says there were no storm-related casualties or major injuries over the past 24 hours. Much more on the snow ahead on Wavy News 10 at 6. We'll check in on conditions on the highways and a very busy day for state police. Plus, clearing the way to get out of town. Anita Blanton is tracking the other transportation issues, and she'll have the latest. Want some good news? Milder weather is on the way. Yes, Don has your complete seven-day forecast with that big warm-up included as we continue on this Thursday night. Stay with us. You're watching Wavy News 10 at 6 with Tom Shad, Nicole Livas, Chief Meteorologist Don Slater, and Bruce Slater Sports.